Today we are discussing about India, climate, vegetation and wildlife. The climate, before we start this, we need to know what are the difference between weather, climate and season. What is weather? Weather is right now how the condition of uh, uh, whether you can see outside is it raining it is sunny it can be stormy this is a particular time period how it is depicted that is known as the weather next is coming climate weather of a place for a certain time maybe 25 to 30 years we can call it as a climate and then we are coming to season Season is a particular thing in a, in a type, time of an year we can experience. Depending on that, Indian seasons have been uh, divided into four major types. What we can see here, we can experience here cold weather climate, cold, cold weather season, then hot weather season, southwest monsoon season and retreating monsoon season. Let us discuss all of them separately. What is cold weather season? Cold weather season is the time when almost the entire part of India they are experiencing a cold wave. The northern wind blows in India and the time when we experience the cold temperature, temperature falls down, we call it as cold weather season mostly from the month of November to the month of February is known as the cold weather season. The sun rays are uh, the, in the cold weather season, the sun rays do not fall in this region directly. Whatever we have learned, this is the time when sun rays is falling in the Tropic of Capricorn. As India is situated in the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere, this is the time November to February we are experiencing cold weather season. Next we are coming to hot weather season. This is known it has another name also. You all know that the another name of cold weather season is winter. Next is coming as the hot weather season when the sun ray is falling directly on Tropic of Cancer. This is the time we experience hot sun, direct sun rays and hot days. These hot days are known as summer days also, we call it as summer. Mostly we experience the summer season, uh, summer season in the, after the month of uh, March, from, the, from March to June. We are experiencing hot sun, hot summer season, dry loose that is a hot dry wind in the northern plain. It blows in the northern plain the hot uh, dry wind which is called as loo. This is the time we uh, the temperature is also very high and we all feel like to stay inside the home not facing the sun that much. This time is known as hot weather season or summer season. Next we are coming to southwest monsoon season. This is the thing we need to understand clearly. This location of India in the previous chapter when we are discussing we have seen that India is a peninsula. The location of India is India is covered with water bodies, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal in three sides of India. As a result, India is blessed with the required rainfall and this rainfall is caused by the wind named monsoon. So India is a monsoon rain blessed country. The word monsoon came from the Arabic word mausim. From that word we got Mohsin mean means it is by the literary meaning of that word is seasonal. So in a particular season, particular time of the year we experience this particular wind that is known as monsoon wind. So if now we uh, think about the peninsular shape of India, this is the 
direction from where the monsoon winds enters in India. So this is the southwest direction. You remember the map how we have done that. This is north, east, west, and south. So these the uh, this is the direction southwest, right? So in the southwest direction, from this southwest direction, this monsoon wind they are entering in India, carrying a lot of water bodies with them as they are crossing arabian sea they are crossing the water bodies long water bodies they are carrying a lot of water droplets with them this wind as a result whenever they are they entered india they are they have to cross the boundary of western guard in the western side of india they caused heavy rainfall here then even when they are entering India, they are going up, they, they are facing even the other mountains also in India. Here it is Himalayas, here it is Aravalli. So everywhere they are confronting with those mountains. As a result, they are causing heavy rainfall in most of the parts of India. So India is actually weighted as India is an agricultural country, we all know that. So India is actually waiting for this southwest monsoon season, which is also named as rainy season. This is the time India experiences maximum rainfall. They carry these, uh, the, this wind is carrying the tremendous number of uh, amount of moisture, tremendous amount of moisture with them and they cause adequate rainfall in most of the parts of India. Next is coming uh, the retreating monsoon season. Retreating monsoon is this monsoon wind after they uh, have a collision with Himalayas, they give enough rainfall, now they don't have anything. They are dry wind. These rare, uh, these uh, winds are coming back then. Now how they will be coming back? What will be the way? They will be coming back after, as we know they are going from this side. They take the opposite direction to come back. So when they are coming back, some of the wind, they are the, the if you see the direction, they are coming back from northeast. So this is called as northeast monsoon wind also. When they are coming back from this direction, they are, they, are, they sometimes they even need to cross the Bay of Bengal. So they are crossing Bay of Bengal, they are entering in Indian Peninsula again. And when they are entering here, they are, they have to face again the uh, Eastern Ghat and Western Ghat mountain. And as a result, some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu is experiencing heavy or moderate rainfall at the time of this retreating monsoon. You can see that when the time of southwest monsoon, the monsoon when they are not touching the Tamil Nadu region really. So we, if we see in this way, actually this is the time, the retreating monsoon time, this is the time when Tamil Nadu is getting their rainy season. The entire season we cannot say <coughs> it is rainy season, but some part with the retreating monsoon wind, they are getting rainfall. Whereas most part of India, they are mainly getting rainfall with this southwest monsoon. The southwest monsoon is actually responsible to give adequate water to the peninsular rivers and for the agriculture of India. The time for southwest monsoon mostly it is May to uh, July, August. From the September actually it started retreating back. September to November is the time for retreating monsoon season. The climate of a place mostly depend on the location of that place. If you see the location of India, actually it is inviting monsoon to its land due to the peninsular 
uh, it's a shape like the peninsula and the location it is located in the water bodies three side it is covered by water so a uh, climate indian climate also at the same time we can see we can experience it it is a monsoon based tem uh, climate we can monsoon cli climate we can experience it in india we are coming to the vegetation of india definitely depending on climate we can experience vegetation we can see the vegetation of a place vegetation means natural vegetation what you are planting in your garden and you are growing it up with much care they are also vegetation but they are not natural vegetation natural vegetation which nature is nurturing them to get their requirement so natural vegetation if you see in india we divided into majorly five types they are tropical rainforest tropical deciduous forest thorny bushes mountain vegetation and mangrove forest